So in this video, we're going to be um, coding the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, so basically what that means is, if you give me uh, A and B of a, of a triangle, um, I'll show you a little thing here. If you give me the A and the B value of a triangle, uh, we, can figure out, we can figure out that C value um, using this formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Um, so what we're going to need to do uh, is, let's practice using our comments. The very first thing that we're going to want to do, well, obviously, save this as a dot .py. So I really don't want to be put on the spot on how to spell Pythagorean, so I'm just going to do pyth dot .py. Uh, py. Um, so now it knows what those two uh, pound keys are. Uh, so the very first thing I want to do is uh, get a and b um, from the user. And the second thing I want to do uh, is I want to um, calculate C. Um, calculate C. I think we're filling in the blanks there. Auto correct. Um, and then, uh, then I want to display the results. Okay. So that's my game plan. Um, and you know, shouldn't be too many surprises off the bat. Uh, my A value is um, for this one, fine, I'll just uh, accept uh, integers. There's no reason for me to um, limit it just to integers, but we used float last time, so I'm gonna use integer this time. What is the A value? What is the A value? Perfect. Um, I wanna make sure my parentheses line up, uh, so always double check those. So that'll be my A value. Now I'm gonna need to do the same thing uh, but now I'm going to want to get the B value from the user. Um, and now I want to calculate C. So this is the reason why uh, I chose this as an example because there's a little bit more complex uh, math that needs to go on um, with this. So let's go back to the drawing board and see what needs to happen. If I have the A value and the B value and I want to get the C value, um, the C value is just... Uh, a squared plus B squared, but that's for C squared. I don't want what C squared equals. I want what C equals. So the way to get rid of a squaring is to square root. So if I square root C squared, those two things cancel out, and I'm just left with C all by itself. So if I have A, side A and B, if I square them, add them together, and then square root them, uh, that's my C value. Um, so this is the general case that I want to, uh, to code. So let's go back to the code and I want to show you what needs to happen. So to calculate C, what I want to do is I have A squared. So to say A squared, I need to do like that. If I just did one of them, that would mean A times two. Um, two of them is A squared. So that would be like A to the sixth power and this would be A to the 60th power. Like I said, I just want squared. And I'm going to add that to b squared. Um, but I don't want just that. Uh, I need that to be the square root of. So how do I square root in Python? Um, let's take a look at that. Um, another way to write this thing up here, and maybe you've been taught this, maybe you haven't. Um, another way to write square root is to write this to the one-half power. Um, so uh, seven, um, seven, the square root of seven and seven to the one-half power, they're the exact same thing. If you don't believe me, um, just check on any old calculator, right? Um, and that's gonna become huge for us, right? So if you wanted to take, if you wanted to take the cube root uh, of seven, that would just be seven to the one-third uh, power. So it will be useful for us to get those in the fraction, um, kind of fraction exponent form. So I need to take the square root of this whole thing, so I'm going to pop that right there, and this one right there, and I'm going to raise that whole thing to the one-half power. So I could do one divided by two there. Um, I could do 0.5 there. Um, you know, Python's got our back in, in, in that case, right? Uh, I, I was just really careful to put those parentheses around it because I want to take the square root of the whole thing, right? Uh, now I just want to display the results. So I'm going to print, um, so A is equal to, huh? And B is, huh? 
so then C equals. So you always want to um, have your, uh, let's say ABC, sorry, let me finish one thing at a time. You always want to have a test case in mind um, that you can that you can use to see if your program's working. So we have to come up with three values that we know are already uh, a, a triangle like that. So a three, four, five is already a right triangle. So if I put three in for uh, A and three in for B, I mean four in for B, then I should get a C value of five um, if this line of code is is doing its job. Um, if not, then it's not, and uh, at least I'll know where it, where where I stand. Ugh. Gotta put a space for there. Control S. All right. What's the A value? Three. The B value? Four. So it gives me that C value of five. It works out perfectly. Um, awesome. 